In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way to recreate the PA seams passing concept from tight offset out of the gun tight. You can also do this out of other formations in Madden in general because it is actually a, a over, uh, it, it's a principle, it's a concept that transfers from formation to formation. Now, if you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We're in the Lions playbook today and we're going to be looking and taking a look at this idea of the big corner little corner concept this can come out of the play gun tight drive corner really what you're looking for is you're looking for these really deep corners in tight formations and whether it's tight offset tight slots tight um tight uh, gun tight right tight flex um you're looking tight doubles you're looking for these big deep corner routes and this is the probably the best pull route uh, in the entire game. And so I'm gonna show you how you can utilize drive corner to mirror what tight offset was doing with PA shot seam. So basically what you're gonna do, if you look, this has that really deep corner route. Now, there's other things that you can do from this formation, um, specifically in tight that you can't do in tight offset, okay? So the best way to run this is number one, it doesn't have play action. So um, that's actually, Depending on what defense you're facing, honestly, it could be good or bad. But the beauty of this is in this setup right here. The setup is we're going to put the left side receiver on a slot apprentice corner. Now, that's the big corner, little corner concept. The big corner will clear out all of the deep blue zones, and the little corner will come underneath it, and you'll be able to hit it. Now, on the right, you can kind of, again based on how you wanna run this, what I like to do is I take the tight end and put him on a drag. I'm gonna put AJ Green on a slant, the right side receiver, and then I'm gonna block my running back. And we're gonna motion this slant out. We're just gonna snap it just about right here. And against man coverage, please throw one of these corner routes. They will be open pretty much every single time. It's really hard for man coverage to defend corner routes this year. Um, and so you wanna take that against man coverage. Now, let's say you know, you're playing somebody and they really adjust well and they have a, you know, maybe they have a cloud and they have half and they're bracketing it. And it's just, it's not super open. It's not super open, right? If it's not open, then you want to work the right side. So if it's not open, you want to progress your drag. If that's not open, you're taking your slant every single time. As you see right there, the slant route's wide open. It comes right underneath. It comes, it's a really good man beater. It's a really good man beater. They're not going to be able to really defend this play in man. They're going to have to go to zone. The problem with zone is cover four and cover three are really going to struggle to defend that specific concept. So what we can do in terms of uh, routes is same basic route combo, and it will still beat zone. What I what you could also do with your running back, you could leave him on this quick flat. It's not a bad route by any means. It's going to help create more space. Um, another thing that you can do with this is you can streak your tight end and put your running back on a in route, and he'll kind of serve as a drag. You see, do something like this. But really, as you saw right there, um, the cover four. Even with deep deep zone KO, even if they baseline and press it, they're gonna struggle. Um, they're gonna struggle to defend this. I don't know what we're doing here with the back, but anyway, let me motion this guy out. So you see here, if you watch Square uh, CD Lamb, the corner route will clear out that quarter, and then you can throw that. Now this is best ran with your corner routes going to the short side. When your corner routes going to the short side, it's really hard for any kind of cover three or cover four to play it. It's really difficult for them to play this in cover three or cover four. And I'll show you the best coverage that they can really do. But even that is actually relatively weak. So as you see right there, CD Lamb is wide open. Now, the best defense for the short corner route is a cover two with a cloud flat that will play right at that depth. So you see right here, he, he's kind of there. He's kind of there. Now, if they back that cloud off, it's probably going to play a little bit better, and I'll show that real quick. So let's do a little base align. This will play pretty well against the, the short corner route. 
The problem is it leaves this big corner route open to the sideline. And so how you want to throw that big corner out over the top is you just want to freeform it to the sideline up and away from the defender. So, you know, again, if they're in, if they're in a, a coverage and it looks something like this, the short corner route will kind of honestly, I think it manipulates the zones a little bit uh, for the for the over top corner. So you see, just freeform that up, and you see that deep half. He pretty much never plays it. It's really hard for that deep half to play that specific route. And so I want to show you what you can do against the defense they're going to do to try to stop this. So the defense that your opponent is going to run to try to stop this is really two specific ones. One of them is going to be match. Um, this play by itself will pretty much handle match. I wouldn't worry too much about match. Really, the other one, though, is this right here. It's the safety nickelback package. And what they're going to do is they're going to put these guys, they're going to put these safeties in outside thirds. Okay? So it's going to look something like this. And they're going to have maybe base aligned or whatever. If you if you get this look right here, that outside third, especially if they shade outside, this is why you could potentially want to streak the tight end. Because when you streak the tight end up the middle, um, outside thirds are going to struggle, especially if you pair that with maybe like a, a wheel route like this. Like, for example, right here, if you watch that tight end, you see he's wide open up the seams. That's one counter. And that's why you want to have some fluidity um, in your setups right to be able to take care of stuff when they when they give you these opportunities but the other thing um the other thing that you have here is if they run it like this is you have a really big opportunity for a big play so if you start to notice they're putting 30 yard clouds a lot over on the left side what i would do is put cd lamb on a streak and then if you wanted to put two streaks certainly that's fine you can do it like this but Put C.D. Lamb on a streak. When he's on the short side, the third will play C.D. Lamb, and you can throw this over the top of the double Mabel 30-yard cloud. That deep corner gets over the top of 30-yard clouds. That's what makes it so good. Um, another way that you could kind of get at the same thing um, is, is really by just motioning your running back over, put him on a streak, and then that will clear that guy out as well. And you see, again, you can kind of really manipulate the zones that way as well. So that's how you utilize drive corner to kind of mirror what you're getting out of PA seams, but you can get this in gun tight. And the beauty of it is it just really opens up the playbook because the cool part about gun tight is gun tight has some other plays that's really good as well, such as PA slot cross. PA slot cross, really, really, really good. Um, for attacking off of the right side. So you have something that's a deep corner to the left, and now you have a deep corner to the right, and when you combine the two, it makes it really difficult to defend this formation. Thanks for watching. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon for just 10 bucks.